What's up? This is Red the Bad Guy again for another video. This video is about the media suppressing the voice of the black man. That's right. The media always have suppressed the voice of the black man, not the black woman. Because they're not afraid of the black woman. You know, that's why they went on for decades and decades and said what they want about the black man. And never got penalized for it. If this was any other race, these women would already got checked already. Straight up and down. They would have got checked hard. And in with the recent uh, events of the Black Gender War, this should have made national news somewhere. Like the Washington Post or the Herald or whatever. New York Times should have made some news, but it didn't. Because they don't want this to get out. Because this will actually say that the black men are being attacked by their own women. And people will start paying attention. People that normally wouldn't, black people that would normally wouldn't pay attention. That is, you could say, brainwashed by the mainstream media. They'll wake up. But on YouTube, we got a voice. And on you know, Twitter and Facebook, and you know, that's why um, they're doing a lot of suppression. You know, they don't want to get you out there so you'll be famous and big. Even with the antics of Tommy, that's even getting, getting suppressed. I thought it was going to get some national news when um, this um, Ebony.com went at, at him. But it didn't. Because somebody's telling them, we can't let these brothers get no voice out here. If one get past us, it's over. Our plan is over. Then it is a plan. I told you guys in many videos that the attack was on the black woman, not the black man. We were fooled. Listen to Farrakhan and stuff saying that we were an endangered species and black man is dying out and this and that. We're all in jail and stuff like that. And then you had the women going on these talk shows over the decades saying the same thing. We dead in jail, huh? dead. You know, all of us got AIDS. All of us are gay and stuff. When it was really talking about those pooping Ray Ray dudes that they always picking. Not the good men, not the ones who went to college, and not the ones that's professors and scientists and the one that's billing construction workers, blue collar men, not those. Because they work here. They don't have no time to be sitting there twiddling their thumbs. So, the voice of the black man has always been suppressed here. But with the advent of the social media, YouTube, Facebook, and, um, the voice is getting out there. And sooner or later, it will hit the mainstream. And when it hit the mainstream, a lot of us on here is going to be famous. I hope it happens for the, for, to the brothers that are that deserve it, not the ones who don't. But nevertheless, we're going to make a name for ourselves on here. We're the first line of defense. That's why I said that this Second General War was really important. If we lose this, they will won the whole entire war. And they will be able to spear all the hate they have with black men to the next generation of men and the next generation of women. Luckily, we stalled them out. And we're gonna continue to stall them out. Until the main media hears us. So my last thoughts, A, um, the media always been suppressing the black man voice, always. But it's coming to the time when 
they're going to let it go. They're going to have to. They got to let us speak. Because things is not working out the way they want to no more. Especially with them controlling the black woman like they, they've been doing for the past couple decades. A few decades. It's backfiring on us. They must have thought that we all would be destroyed now and every black man in America would be dating some other race of women, but that's not happening. Or all the black women will be dating another race of men. It's not happening. It's happening at a slower rate. It's probably more with the younger generation. But even them, it's still at a slow rate. So they're going to have to let it go after a while. Which means that they don't need a black woman no more for their plans. So when that happens, black woman's going to be out all by herself. Be out in the cold with no protection at all. Not even from a black man. So, until next time, I'll see you later.